You are most welcome to the New Directions Counseling Services YouTube channel. I hope everybody at home must be quite alright and uh, must be keeping your own thoughts instead of getting uh, scary or so, you must be taking all due precautions. Today's topic is keeping your own mindset and keeping your own entity. I would like to say that one must keep one's own entity. One has to be oneself. We need to get rid of the demonstration effects around us. You know, demonstration effects means I must not do what the others are doing. I must keep my own thoughts. I must keep my own perceptions. So better we become ourselves and keep our own mindset. We must always dance to the tune of music composed by ourselves only. Not anything imposed upon us because ultimately it is our life and we are a separate entity. We need to emphasize this to our mindset. You know, once if we go to any office that uh, people are, everything is uh, alright, it's all peaceful, all the opinions of the people resemble to each other, you must think that something is wrong. So, it doesn't mean that they are not getting into trifles, that's why I mean it is peaceful. They are not having difference of opinion, everybody needs to keep difference of opinion. Having one's own thoughts, only then new dimensions will come out. So, it has to be only possible only once we keep our own mindset. We keep our own entity. Only, only then we can derive new dimensions of mind. So, in this respect, uh, parents can play a great role in uh, uh, not imposing anything upon the kids. Uh, what is in their mindset that they are to become doctor, they are to become engineer or something like accountant. I mean, why? Why? Because they have to support the kids. They are not to be, uh, I mean, imposing upon, incumbent upon the kids that you are to do this thing. Why? Because kids are having a different entity. They are having their own uh, uh, existence. So, uh, let the, let the uh, tiny tots flourish like anything. So, they should not impose upon anything. Only then they will become a uh, better human being and very nice, uh, different professional. They will respect uh, their parents for the freedom awarded to them to evolve their new ideas. So, we, uh, it's a time gone when, I mean, uh, people, uh, uh, you know, what their forefathers did or what their fathers did, they, we were imposing upon. It's not the time now. Now the profession of a kid has to do with the passion of the kid. Uh, the children's passion has to be recorded only then they can evolve their own dimensions. For that, they have to be kept free for keeping their own mindset. So, now the point is this, once we are keeping our own mindset, now we are in total control of ourselves, we are happy or unhappy the way we take it to be. We keep the stable mind and stable mind is the key to success and any sphere of life if our mind is stable. A uh, lot of things are taught in the classes like logarithm, uh, uh, sin theta, cos theta, but this has significance in life. No, it is not uh, that much significant is life as as the I keep uh, life philosophy. I mean to say, uh, as I will remain confined to today's topic because it is a full life philosophy, full of dimensions. So mindset has to be stable. Only then uh, that they can lead to succeed. So uh, for that purpose, they have just to do karma and uh, not to believe in destiny. Destiny has to follow. Destiny has to follow. So, uh, life is a journey. Life is a great journey. Well, all of us think that uh, we we are happy achieving something. So, it's not that is not long lasting happiness in achieving something. The most happiness is in the journey we go through. Journey we go through that is more enjoyable and full of happiness. The maximum happiness we derive. Uh, much in the journey than in attaining the destination or the goal. 
So, uh, if we suppose achieve a failure in our uh, stream where whatsoever we are following, we are, uh, uh, we are failures, both the kids, suppose the children are studying in a school or colleges, they get failed or get, uh, I mean, uh, backs. What their kids say, what their parents say, they rebuke the people, they rebuke the kids. Why? What for? I mean, uh, they say, what not? I mean, this is, this is unacceptable. Because uh, they should uh, teach the I mean kids that life is a journey. It's not that attaining 99% marks or 100% marks or something like this. There is no end to it. The guy is taking effort. He's doing karma. He's doing efforts. That should suffice for that purpose. Ups and downs are there in the life, but uh, ultimately it is the journey we enjoy in our life. So. Uh, you know, I recall the incidents once uh, I happened to go Himalayan tracking expedition, uh, uh, 16,000 feet surpass. You know, once we were going with a rucksack and ready for, I mean, uh, all the things to go up. Uh, uh, what the executives told us there, you are not uh, just a coolie that you are going up and you are to attain the height up to 16,000 16, feet sea level. You are not a coolie. On the way, you need to enjoy the uh, shower, you, in, you need to enjoy some beautiful flower is there, you need to adore the flower. I mean, it's they meant to, the sense of their saying was that we need to, we need to nourish the journey on the way and relish whatever climate or beautiful flowers or the waterfall we need to enjoy over there. So, that is the best thing we need to uh, inculcate amongst the kids. Uh, being an elder, being a parent, or so we need to inculcate such things and uh, let the guy flourish just like a blossoming flower oneself. So, if you like uh, our uh, our saying, our counseling, uh, we are we are into counseling all the aspects of life. So, uh, you must you must like, uh, you must share, you must give your comments about that, and must uh, uh, subscribe the. Uh, new directions, uh, counseling, uh, services, uh, that is the best uh, platform, so many good uh, counselors are there interrogating or counseling in, in respect of different aspects. Uh, thank you so much for patiently listening.